We still have biblical famines in the 21st century. Every five seconds, a child of less than 10 years of age dies as a consequence of malnutrition on a planet with unprecedented wealth and surpluses. It is the inconceivable shame of our time. The human right to food does not seem to exist. How can you live in dignity when you are dying of hunger? In this film, we will follow two individuals in the East African country of Ethiopia. The first, a strong-willed woman from a village in the Tigray region, representative of many thousands of other villages. At the end of the 20th century, this region has been hit by a famine unlike any other area on the African continent. But what are people doing today, proactively and on the ground, to better cope with the impacts of a lasting drought and the political systems too often failing to deliver relief? The United Nations has been told the famine across four countries is now the biggest crisis for the organization since it was founded. We stand at a critical point in our history. This is November focused on one big topic. The second person is a man who has dedicated his life to dispatch food to those left with nothing, to those on the brink of starvation, relying on the international community to prevent the unimaginable. I will go personally to the warehouses and check if these boats, these fruits are moving, and we will see. So I'll get back to you. What insight can we gain from both of their worlds and would there be a way to proactively link grassroots initiatives, political frameworks, and emergency relief to bring an end to famine?